Hey guys, Scott here with SJC Fit. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing some habits um, that I've picked up over the years. More specifically, one habit or one word that I've grown to despise, really. And that word is diet. I, I hate that word because it's grown to become, it's grown to have a new definition. And more specifically, be due to infomercials, commercials, weight loss plans, quick quick fat loss, pills, whatever it might be, all of those big, big corporation companies that are making millions of dollars, billions of dollars on weight loss have changed the word diet to mean something, a time when you're trying to lose weight. So that means there's a deadline. In 30 days if on this diet, you will lose this weight, but you have to eat these foods, even if they're foods you don't enjoy. And so, the problem with that is the word diet really means what you consume on a regular basis. On a day-to-day -day basis, no end goal, it's what you consume without thought. It's what you consume when you go to the fridge or go to the grocery store, buy your groceries, eat. It's whatever you do every single day when it, when it comes to your, your nutrition. And so that's why I've adapted to the word more lifestyle, like a healthy lifestyle, rather than the word diet. You might hear me reference the word diet when I'm talking in some of my videos, but when I reference the word diet, I'm simply saying this is what I'm eating, this is what I'm eating on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's really what I aim for my clients. I, I When I put them through a nutrition plan, I don't put them through a diet, I put them through a, a modifying or tweaking of what they're eating on a day-to-day -day basis so that they can figure out exactly the foods they like to eat and can consume and can sustain over the years. I want them to be doing something that they can see themselves successfully um, habitualizing, if that's a word, I don't know. But the point is, I want it to become more of a lifestyle rather than a quick diet. And so that's kind of this, what this video is about. I, I, didn't, I didn't really want to rant, um, but I kind of wanted to discuss with you the differences between diets and lifestyles and and how diets unfortunately have grown to to have a bad connotation and so lifestyle is really what you should be shooting for if you're a trainer out there please try to teach lifestyles rather than quick diets i'm sure most of you do out there but i do know some trainers that will put them put their clients through a two month a uh, three-month diet where they're, they're given a specific food guideline and this is exactly what they have to eat. Now, when it comes to balancing, portioning, and um, you know, balancing your macronutrients, that is important. Your new, those need to be balanced. You do need to find a solid balance and you should be eating foods that are clean, foods that are not greasy, not from fast food, things that are from the ground or more naturally made. But the point is you should be finding foods that you are happy with, foods that you can enjoy for the next four or five years. And so grow with that, build your own lifestyle, find something that you're happy with. Because like I've always told my clients before, the key to losing weight is based off of an 80-20 ratio. And that means 80% of your weight loss is actually done in the kitchen, and 20% is actually done in the gym. And so you may think it might be the other way around, but it's really not. That quote that you always hear people say, abs are made in the kitchen, is so true. And in order to get abs or to lose that stubborn belly fat, you need to be following a routine of food that you can do every single day without question and that you can be happy with so that you can build a new healthy lifestyle. And so that's what we need to be training our, our clients. And that's what, if you're watching this video trying to program your own nutrition, that's what I strive for you. That's what I hope for you. And I hope that helps. I hope this tip helps. Um, again, didn't mean to rant, but I just kind of wanted to discuss the differences between those two words and, and why a healthy lifestyle is really the better option for you. So hopefully we can put an end to the word diet and we can move on from there and I can see some positive health benefits and see people grow. Um, I've seen, seen it with my clients and I'm super excited for that and I'd like to see it for you guys too. So uh, again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe now bu button below this video 
And check me out at uh, sjcfit.com if you'd like to follow me a little bit more, get more, fr uh, get more content for free. You can go ahead and do that. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. We'll see you guys, and I hope you have a good night. All right, bye-bye.